All right, welcome back, guys. So by now we have defined our section properties. We got cross section I beam at W two hundred by fifteen for both beams, beam one and beam two. And now we want to look at defining our materials. So we go down to just underneath the section properties tool. We got our material properties tool. Right click and same thing, right? We can either create one and put in whatever parameters we want, or we can just click on one that's been predetermined for us from the S-Frame software. Let's use steel US and Canada, right? So that's usually a pretty typical one. It's kind of standard. Probably what you'll see in most textbooks. Um, yeah, but you mean you can use concrete, aluminum, cast iron, whatever you want. But I'm just gonna stick with steel for now. So what we want to do is click update again, close. And just to double check, right click on the guys. Remember when they go red, that's when you right click and you're you're happy with that. And it's come up as uh, material number one. Okay, that's good. Same thing here, properties. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we're happy. So now we've defined our materials on our beams. So we've defined our beams, two of them. We've defined our section, our cross section. We got a I beam, W200 by 15. You can look up top on the, uh, on the properties bar. Beams that are steel at W200 by 15 section, okay? So the next thing that we want to do is put our support or our, our supports in. So again, at the support tool, and again, sorry if I'm going a little bit fast, but um, I've covered a lot of this basic stuff in previous videos. So if I'm going a little too fast for you, I recommend watching my uh, first set of tutorials when we were building the model. It was a spring, but it's the same general concepts, the same layout, just a different type of member. Okay, so the member tool, let's put a support at one and a support at two. Now we can either put a support at, or sorry, a support at three. Now we can either put a support at two or we can leave it as it is. That's not gonna be any issue with our um, with our beam itself. Putting a support at two just means that, or sorry, putting a node at two just means that we're going to use that to analyze. We wanna put a node there, or sorry, we wanna put a load there or what have you. So for now, I'm just gonna have a fixed and a fixed support. And then in the next segment, we are going to apply some loads.